This is going to be a guide on how to install uh, Super Depth 3D on simulated reality screens and how to get it working, basically. Um, we're going to start from scratch. So let's, uh, let's go to Steam really quick. Install that. And we're also going to install Reshade from scratch as well. Of course, I'll put all the links in the uh, description under that subscribe button. Um, let's see. All right. We're also going to download this version in particular, which is the Reshade 631 with full add-on support. The reason why is that we're also going to be installing uh, two add-ons in this case. Let's save. All right. I want to try to do this the easy way first before we try the difficult way. So that's installed. Uh, you may want to start it up once. All right, that's, uh, that should be working. Let's close this. Actually, let's, uh, since we're going to be using a FPS game, let's go to settings and we're going to say one day. Oh no, it's already set, so it's the crosshair needs to be set too. Alright, let's uh, close this. And since that's done, let's install Reshade. We could, let's see if we could find that in here. I don't see Wizard Drum. Well, it's still bu building. Uh, well, it's populating. It'll show up here eventually. I'm just going to. Browse. Actually, it would be probably nice to add a little search for thing right here. Uh, I'll talk with Crosshair later, or message him about it. Yeah. Okay. So let's. Uh, I already have it set to the right folder because you know, uh, not movie magic or whatever they call that. Let's see. Click on that. Click open. Click next, and we're gonna install it as. DirectX 10, 11, 12, API, go next. And we're going to just grab this sh shader. Uh, we could uncheck everything else just to make things easier. Uh, this shader in particular, click on next. All right, and we're going to grab two add-ons in this case. We're going to grab this one for the, um, it's called the 3D Gaming Bridge. And we're also going to grab uh, Rest, Reshade Effects Shader Toggler, click on Next, click on Finish. And now um, let's go into the folder, go to Properties, click on Install Files, Browse. In this case, we are going to drop in a pre-configuration which will be uh rest profiles on my on my uh on my um discord so let's click on this since this was been pre-made let's uh, download that click on save go to oh it looks uh it's just a text file so uh make sure it downloads open that up copy this and we're going to actually place it into that folder we opened. So there we go. And that should be it. Uh, also, we're going to, uh, since it's all automated, right? So it's not a lot of stuff we have to do. Um, we are going to actually uh, go over a few things. Well, this is one thing. So let's go to display settings. One thing that 
you probably should remember is that the screens should be at 4K. You know, uh, well, the screen for the for the for the stereo 3D should be 4K or whatever native res that 3D screen is at. It's important in this case for this add-on, and also make this uh like the 3D screen, the Acer 3D screen, um, actually make it the main display. And the reason why we do this is mainly because um, uh, mainly because we uh, we need it to be native so that you know the weaving is done at the proper uh, pixel level or sub pixel level. All right. Once that's done, right? That's uh, that should be applied. That that's fine. It could minimize that. We can also minimize that. And I'm gonna have to switch to the other screen. Since that's became the main screen, so let me just do that. Uh huh. I didn't remember how oh yeah. It will be this one be my primary monitor. Oh okay. And let's move that out of the way. <laughs> I, I picked that background because it's like a portal into another world. Um so um so because this is kinda like that, if you think about it, you'd be viewing into another world. So let's uh I'm gonna hit play. And it should load up uh, properly. The only thing is that you may not see it properly. Uh, it's probably going to be like the weaved image. Okay, there it is. So yeah, so this is it. So continue. And we're going to press the home button and skip the tutorial. And we are actually just going to enable Oh, there it is. It's just a little hard to see when it's uh, like that. So I'm gonna hold down control and scroll up. So that's the uh, that's one you have to check. And we are going to move this up. And let's move this to the bottom. Move this up again. Let's go to the bottom. Alright. We are also gonna do this. We're gonna change the cursor adjustment to. I guess in this game version it was like a reticle. And we're gonna set that. Center and we'll make it we'll make it a little bigger. And we're gonna uh, that should be it. Um we'll click on performance mode to make things more performant. Uh, minimize that and just hit play. And it should be uh, right now you see this like clear and everything in the background should be blurry. Um I can't that sure how Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Um, hit back, oh, play, and we're gonna select the uh, sorceress, and we're gonna do journeyman. Never played like this. So, like, let's enable this, and eh, and everything should be like 3D, and the UI and text should be um, like in the uh, foreground. And I'm looking at it right now, um, so for me it's in 3D, but you know, this guy, or well, this guy, it's not going to show up like that. Um, but it is working, and that should be it, very simple. I'm actually going to increase the depth in here a bit, go to like 70, 77, uh, it actually feels good in this one, sorry. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, she's a little bit too much. 70s, I do 77. Oh, that feels good to me. I think, man, yeah, it does, it does. Look good. Uh, you know what? I may get fatigue if it's too high, so I'm just gonna load just a little bit. There we go, that's good. Alright, and yeah, I guess we're done, and just enjoy the game. Oh! Oh, I'm bad. But this is a great game to test it out and to show off the uh, power of the screen. Mainly because uh, one thing uh, that's not really told to you, but uh, crosstalk is a thing, especially in high contrast uh, games that have like dark shadows and very bright areas. Will cause Um, like 
not ghosty, but um, God, I, I, this game is making me uh, forget things here. Ah, <sighs> see, a uh, oh, crosstalk. Yeah, it will cause crosstalk. And in this game, everything seems to be very colorful, right? So it will be a very good show for the screen to actually play this game. And it's very enjoyable. It's not a bad game. It's a throwback to uh, things. To older, uh, 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 older time. Looks like the guy's sleeping back here. Oh, no, no. You can't sleep, you sleep permanently. Okay. But as you can see, everything uh, should work correctly. I'm going to actually stop playing here and end the video. That should be it. Uh, it's a very easy and enjoyable way. Again, under the subscribe button, I'm going to place the, uh, uh, in the description, right, the, uh, the links to all this and more. Alright, good luck and uh...